yesterday as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Last weekend, last weekend, this weekend. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what's what's your... Well, I just got here a couple days ago, so I didn't get to experience the weekend before. How, how would you say last weekend was different from this one? Well, obviously, both weekends, so much positivity. Yeah. MSM narrative is obviously completely all lies, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean the people down here at Ground Zero had an incredible time, unity, bonding, humanity, yeah, um, once in a lifetime experience. But I think it's only just going to grow. So do you do you suspect uh, people will figure out how to find their way down here today and, and congregate together, or do you think it's kind of sparse, sparse now? Well, I think it's more going to be uh, spread out to other areas, right? Because right now there's so much presence. Uh, I'm former RCMP myself. These there's so much for, uh, military, if you can call it that. Who knows where they brought them in? Yeah, like they're talking UN troops and. I mean, people from the States, who knows who they've actually put in those uniforms. So you may know, be a little more privy to this uh, yourself because you're formerly on the force. I'm being, you know, when I tried to get confirmation of where, where's the line? Where's the red zone? Where am I allowed to be and I'm not allowed to be? And essentially, they just said, wherever we decide to set up a checkpoint is where the... the exactly. The What's red... been going on, to be honest with you, for the last two years worldwide, Yeah. there is no laws anymore. So... Uh, you, you, the same questions that you're asking yourself, everybody's asking themselves. Like, right. They're just making it up as they go. So, I mean, that's just constantly dynamic. It's yeah. not a static thing. What they say five minutes from now is not going to be what's relevant five minutes into the future, right? And from your experience, have you ever come across, you know, obviously, you know, you're one of the good guys who was on the force. Are there, I mean, obviously some people get into it for all the right reasons. And do you think there are still guys on the force today who realized some of the things maybe they took part in yesterday are just flat out wrong? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. They're, uh, they know. Well, I think the ones that are really, you know, coherent in the moment, they they wouldn't even have taken a duty like this. Right. The ones that are here, they're just getting paid. It's just about getting paid, and that's a temporary thing. Yeah. That's why eventually, whether it's here in Canada and worldwide, mm -hmm. that's why we'll win. Yeah. Because the people who are enforcing all these illegal mandates, they're getting paid to do it. Yeah. Sooner or later, that'll run out. We're all we're all here because we're passionate about freedom. Right? Yeah. And that one, that one is going to grow. It's, it's an ignition and a fire that's taking off. It's a beautiful thing to see. Because like I said, where we, where we were two years ago to where we are now, mm -hmm. huge difference. Now let's talk a little bit about those police who are being paid. Because I've heard this. I Maybe uh, it, it's not confirmed. Don't quote me on this, guys. But I've heard, and tell me if this sounds like it's in the ballpark of being possible, that what the police are being paid here per day... Yeah. Is four thousand dollars plus expenses? Does wouldn't, that sound out of the? Is no, it that? wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. They're, they're, the, the only thing that's motivating them to hear, I mean, there's obviously going to be a certain amount of uh, percentage of people who you know just don't get it and just have that military background and will follow whatever order they're told to do. I mean, quite clearly a sheep mentality and or others that are motivated by money so yeah. like i said that'll exhaust itself and i think you know love of humanity and freedom will outweigh any uh, monetary driven uh mentality yeah well said so um what i know you don't you know can't predict the future or anything but what do you what do you foresee in the coming days weeks maybe even months for uh downtown ottawa downtown ottawa and the movement in general. I think as well, you might see people come back. Uh, yeah. I think it'll be revolving all around the world and all around Canada. Mm -hmm. You're going to see, they can't police that. Okay, like I said, look how long it took them to get people here. And that's, I think, I mean, if you look at what Lech Walenza and the Pope did in the 80s with solidarity and brought down communism. And I'm a tradesperson myself. Actually, I'm an electrician as well. I've had a few lives, you know, corrections officer, police officer, and an electrician. Wow. So, I mean, if you coordinate this, what people need to do is expand the coordination of it. Mm -hmm. Just stop working you need heat, you need electricity, you need plumbing. Well, you know what? Turn the freedom switch back on, buddy. You know what I mean?
me, that's what we want. We all want freedom. We're yeah. all out here. We're all the grunts of the earth. And I say that with great respect. We're the ones that keep society going, all of us. So if we all coordinate, and that's what they're doing. They're, you, they, they don't get it. They don't get it. They're, they got a hand on power, but that's diminishing. Yeah. And the more awake people get and the more civil liberties and freedom you take away, you're just galvanizing people to just say, you know, why, why are we working? Right. What are we doing? We're like we're in a, we've been in a self, not a self, well, some people a self-imposed jail, but obviously the mandates has put us there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the whole reason we exist is for freedom. So perhaps that's the positive takeaway from the COVID-1984 nightmare is that like a junkie who needs to hit rock bottom, some people are now realizing, hey, yeah. This is bad. My rights are being obliterated. No matter here. what you do. Yeah. But if you comply or you don't comply, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're all in the same boat. So you got one choice. You can choose tyranny or you can choose freedom. I hope everybody chooses freedom because that's a lot better path than tyranny. Right? Yeah, no There's doubt. only two choices. I agree. I think history is going to look back on this time and you're either going to be on the side of authoritarianism and, and just down route power and control and Big Brother Orwellian nightmare or. You're on the side of freedom. You're on the side of liberty, and uh, absolutely, yeah, agree, hundred percent. Glad you're glad you're on the right side of history, sir. Same with yeah, you. Yeah, keep up, Take care. Keep, keep it up. Yeah, All for best. sure.